Did you know that students in elementary and middle school often struggle with division problems? This problem was given to 4th and 8th graders in a national assessment. The correct answer is C, 10 pages. And while a majority of students from both grades got the question right, an almost equal number of both groups answered B, 9 pages. And while it's easy to assume that these students just didn't read the question carefully or rushed through the problem, this error happens way too often to be easily ignored. Let's take a look at what's going on in this problem and come up with some strategies that can help our students succeed, shall we? So, you have 88 photos in total, but only 9 of them can fit on each page. In order to find out how many pages, or groups, we need, we have to divide 88 by 9. But when we do that, we get a remainder of 7, so we'll need one extra page to fit the remaining 7 photos. Here's why students probably get this wrong. Students are taught to look for keywords in a problem to find what math operation to use. This problem signals division, so they solve 88 divided by 9, see the quotient is 9, and circle it. But they totally ignore the remainder of 7. It's a simple mistake. So what steps can we teach our students to help them avoid this situation? Step 1. Tell them to slow down and really understand the problem. Encourage them to really understand what the question is asking them to do and what they need to figure out. If they know what they need to do, great! On to the next step. Make the numbers easier. If the numbers are too intimidating at first, encourage them to start from smaller numbers like this. Then, when they understand how to solve the easier problem, have them use the same method to solve the original. When they think they have the solution, they can move on to the next step. Make sure the answer makes sense. This sounds super simple, but it's more than just doing the reverse operation. It's about thinking critically. If they solve the problem and answer 9 pages, they might stop and think, if I put 9 photos on each of the 9 pages, that's 81 photos. But there are 88 photos, this, this can't be right. This is the moment we want students to pause and reflect, and adjust their solution if things don't look right. When students follow these steps, they build the habit of using critical thinking to reason through a problem, instead of just blindly performing calculations. Are there any other strategies that you know of to help out students? Let us know in the comments below. And subscribe to Science of Teaching Math for more effective teaching strategies. See you later!